people might be confused by it and then decide, well, look, I mean, I'm sure that Change UK, the, the Tiggers, as they're called, will stand candidates, certainly the Liberal Democrats, and these are out-and-out -out Remain parties. Well, they are. Obviously they are. And I do understand that the Change Party, the, the independent group, will be fielding candidates. Um, and as we know, the, the country is deeply divided. UKIP, I agree, is the Leave Party, uh, unadulterated Leave. But as Gerald said, they didn't do very well in the by-election we've just had they in South third. Wales. Um, they came third on a derisory share of the vote. Labour actually got 37% of the vote. You lost 50% of your vote. So, yeah, it was I, a very I, low turnout. And, and I'm also good. interested to see that there's a huge fight between the Leavers, between UKIP and Nigel Farage's party. I don't think that bodes terribly well for the Leave vote. Uh, uh, and what what about uh, the attitude if you uh, do get back in, Gerard Batten, and uh, I know uh, not a member of your party, uh, Jacob Rees-Mogg, though, saying today, and it's caused some consternation amongst um, EU ambassadors, uh, that you'd be disruptive, even more disruptive. Oh, we don't, we're not there to make the European Union work. We think it's an undemocratic, anti-democratic construction. Uh, we've voted against every piece of EU legislation that we've seen. In the, well, I've been there for but deliberately gum years. up the works. Uh, well, by voting against it, we're saying that they have no legitimate right to pass legislation over the British people. It's unlawful, which it is under our constitution. Uh, we vote against it. We're not there to make the EU work. We are there to represent the Leave vote in Britain. Um, and I think that would actually be much higher now than it was in the referendum because Project Fear has been shown up for what it is or what it was, and I think a lot okay. more people now who voted Remain out of fear would vote Leave. Uh, Mary Hannibal, I've just got to ask you, I mean, the, uh, the other big issue bubbling around uh, concerning Brexit at the moment are these talks between your party, your, your party leader and the, and the Prime Minister and their representatives. Do you think anything will come of that? Is there any way that the huge gaps between the parties can be closed to, to avoid these European elections, to, to get a deal across the line in the next few days? Well, it's not looking very encouraging, and as I said earlier, I think anything that comes out of it has to be put to a people's vote and incidentally we're, we're confident the Remain side is confident in that there's been lots of polling which shows that Remain would actually win that referendum and win it comfortably so we have no fear of elections elections are true democracy okay. and if we have another referendum and Labour lose would they want another one for the best out of three there we go. Well, uh, we'll, we'll see if there's a, a second one. Uh, Gerard Batten, uh, Mary Honeyball, uh, very good to see you both. Thank you.